Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and welcome once again to the Pensacola International Speedway. I finally got it right that time. And we have an interesting situation for the NR73 Big One. Unfortunately, Jake Galloway, the owner of the NRUK, was unable to do his LCQs and his heats. So, I am going to do it for him because we got 15 guys who were signed up for the league who still have a shot at making it in to the main event. We want to give them all that opportunity. So, what we're going to do, we're not going to do heats in an LCQ. We're just going to do one 20 lap race, and the top five finishers in this 20 lap race will advance on to the main event of the NR2 M3 Big One. And uh, to all you new guys, Welcome to Napa Fan. Hope you enjoy the broadcast here of the Enter UK qualifier for the 2020 Enter 2003 Big One. We got 15 drivers in the field, and they include the 07 of Roman Fenway, the 08 of Zachary Delello, the 09 of Alex Fletcher, the 10 of Christian Elder, the 11 of Alexander Rowe, the 12 of Bronson Minnick, the 13 of Dale Lightning, the 14 of Keegan Thompson, the 15 of Eli Bright, the 16 of Ryan Butcher, the 17 of Luke Rainey, the 18 of Mathis Wells, the 19 of Ethan Matheson, who is starting on the pole position for this event, the 20 of DJ Reed, and the 21 of William Bullen. Those are the 15 drivers in this race, not in the order of how they're starting, but in the order of their number, since it was much easier for me to read it from there. We're going to go ahead and get these guys to roll off here at the Pensacola International Speedway. A bright sunny day here from Pensacola, a little bit different than the NOFSRL heats that we had earlier on here on this channel. But this is a completely different event compared to what we've seen in other leagues. It is one strict race and the top five make it on. So it should be interesting to see how it all goes down. On the pole position, like I mentioned, Ethan Matheson in the number 19 alongside the 09 of Alex Fletcher. In row number two, it's the number 12 machine of Bronson Minnick to the inside of Mathis Wells. Number 17 machine, Luke Rainey to the inside of DJ Reed. In row number four, we have the 07 of Roman Fenway to the inside of Eli Bright. Number 16 machine, that is Ryan Butcher to the inside of the 10 driven by Christian Elder. Then we have the 21 machine of William Bullen to the inside of the number 13 driven by Dale Lightning. 08 machine, Zachary Delello to the inside of the 11 of Alexander Rowe, who is a pretty prominent driver here on Napa Fan, doing very well over in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series right now. Currently inside the chase, rolling pretty well. And then we got the number 14 of Keegan Thompson, who's also in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. As, as a matter of fact, Alexander Rowe, Dale Lightning, Keegan Thompson, and Eli Bright, all four of those guys in the main series here on Napa Fan, and Luke Rainey in the IndyCar series, actually a past IndyCar champion here on Napa Fan. So, a lot of guys in this field, surprisingly, have a lot of Napa Fan experience. Of course, this is not an official Napa Fan race, this is an NRUK race, but uh, we're definitely glad, uh, glad to help out uh, Mr. Galloway in getting this up for him so that we can have the main event this weekend over on the NIRA channel. Should be a fun one here on this Wednesday afternoon. And five more slots available to the main event of the Enter 2003 Big One. We're going to fill them up right here. A third of the field will make it in. Who will it be? Ethan Matheson, Alex Fletcher on the front row. Here we go. We're green flag racing in the Enter UK qualifier for the Enter 2003 Big One. And so far, single file, we got the 17 there of Luke Rainey moving his way to the inside for the second position on Bronson Minnick. Here comes the 20 DJ Reed, the 07 up here of Roman Fenway. Those are currently the top five drivers. We're going to have to see, though, if it stays that way. Definitely a lot of passing will be made at this racetrack, most likely at least, at least in the NOFSRL LCQ, we saw a ton of passing. We did see in our second heat, though, the winner of that race, Josh King, went flag to flag, but I don't think Matheson's going to do that, unfortunately. Here comes Luke Rainey with a run to the inside, he got the 07 right behind him there 
of Roman Fenway. 21, William Bullen moving his way through the field as well. And the 14 of Keegan Thompson all rolling in the inside lane at the moment. The inside lane is the dominant lane, especially early on. But as the run goes on, as the tire wear does get more significant, that outside lane can hold its ground a little bit better. We're actually going to see Ethan Matheson do that right now. The number 19 holding strong up there on Luke Rainey. And they're side by side for the race lead. Lap number two of 20 here in the NRUK qualifier. It'll be Matheson leading two in a row here at Pensacola. Luke Ring there trying to hold that inside lane. Got the 14 looking three wide to the inside of William Bullen and Roman Fenway. Keegan Thompson going to slide up the racetrack though just a little bit. Here comes the 11 machine of Alexander Rowe. And we know Alexander Rowe very well here on Napa Fan, so we would not be surprised in the slightest if he went to victory lane. The same goes for Luke Rainey. I think they are two of the most successful drivers on Napa Fan in this NRUK race. They both have a lot of wins on Napa Fan. Of course, Luke Rainey, an Indianapolis 250 champion. And for those of you who don't know, that is a full-length 250-mile race with IndyCars that we do. And Luke Rainey won it back in 2017. But uh, definitely not a surprise, at least for us, to see Luke Rainey and Alex and Rowe running up front. A lot of these other drivers are simply new. We don't exactly know how well they are in other leagues, but I would imagine they're all just as good as Rainey and Rowe. And we're going to see a huge amount of drivers lead this race at some point. But Rainey and Matheson, how about this? They've been going side by side for quite some time. Rainey was able to get the best of Matheson that last time around. But that outside lane definitely... Hanging tough here, a lot different than what we saw in the NOFSRL heats, and here comes the 17 to 13 trying to work through the inside. Now keep in mind too, this is the most amount of cars that have been on the racetrack for any heat, um, all weekend long, all event long I should say, 15 cars. The most that any race has had so far is 11 with the LCQs this past weekend, none of the heats or LCQs have had more than 11 cars because this is the only league that has one strict race qualifying for the big one, which means that all 15 guys are in the one event. And Ethan Matheson holding strong on the outside lane, staying out front from the pole position. And if those of you guys who remember the second heat for the NOF SRL, Josh King went flag to flag. It wouldn't be a true flag to flag for Matheson if he were to pull it off. But it would be pretty close as he's been up front this entire race. Here comes Zachary Delello. He's another guy who has some Napa fan experience. Currently running in the Turkey Hill Series on our end. And it's actually in a battle with the championship over there with seven races left to go. So we're definitely intrigued to see what he does over there. But Zachary Delello doing a great job here. And he's trying to work that inside lane on Matheson. And it looks like, oh, that's a tough one. I think Matheson might have gotten the run on the outside and led that lap. He did. Matheson has found something on that outside lane here at Pensacola that we have not seen all weekend long. And we are going to have to see if he can hold on to that outside lane the entire race. Only lap 6 of 20. Still a long ways left to go. Here comes the 14 of Keegan Thompson. Alexander Rowe in the 11 machine. And the 09 working his way to the inside. That's Alex Fletcher looking to get a run there with Rowe and the 15 behind him of Eli Bright. We got four wide here. As the 0-9, Fletcher with a huge run to the inside of Alex in a row. And Keegan Thompson and getting way out of line there as William Bullen got shuffled out four wide. And if you get up way up on the racetrack, you really do not have any grip up there. And you do fall back. And he's going to fall all the way back to the end of the field right there in the number 21 machine. Tough break there for William Bullen there on that lap. But still a long ways left to go in this race. And realistically, everybody in this field still with a reasonable chance at advancing on. You gotta remember, the top five finishers in this race will make it onto the Interstate 3 Big One, a third of the field. That's more than any other uh, heat or LCQ that we've had in this whole event so far. So the odds for these guys are technically greater than everyone else, even though it's still five from each league. In this one specific race right now, they have a one in three shot of making it in. Wasn't the case for the others because in the heats, it was two out of seven, two out of eight, and in the LCQ, only the winner made it on. But here, five guys make it on. Top five finishers at 08 trying to work something as Ethan Matheson continues to hold on to this outside lane. But DeLello did get the lap led right there. Luke Rainey has led one lap. Zachary DeLello has led one lap. Ethan Matheson has led the rest of the laps in the number 19. 
Delello though getting a huge push there from Christian Elder. Have yet to see the 10 move his way through the field, but he is there in the rallies machine. Rallying from behind to possibly get to this race lead. Luke Rainey also rallying from behind. He fell back initially, got shuffled into the middle lane, but he has found the inside lane once again, and now he is moving his way through the field. We have to mention the 18 in this one. Mathis Wells also moving his way through the field here in this one. William Bullen right behind him with Alexander Rowe in that line. William Bullen's going to make a run to the inside. Four wide for around the seventh position, I do believe. That is not a transfer position. However, that inside lane is where you want to be. And we should expect Bullen, if he can hold on to this inside lane, we should expect him to possibly move his way inside the top five in the next couple of laps. Zach Adelolo has an opportunity to clear Matheson. Will he do it? Doesn't look like he will. He's going to get shuffled out of line as Matheson continues to hold the outside lane. Here comes Christian Elder in the 10. And Elder with a huge run. Now Matheson has no help behind him. And he's 3-1 in the outside lane. And it does appear they have finally... Shuffled Ethan Matheson out of the race lead. Christian Elder to the race lead. Lap 9 of 20. Here comes Luke Rainey in the 17. William Bolham, just like I said. It was actually less than a lap for him. And now he's got to run three wide of the inside for the race lead. But he's not going to be able to hold it on Rainey. Here comes Rainey to the inside of the 10 of Christian Elder. And Luke Rainey back up front here at Pensacola. Next time by... We are halfway through the NRUK qualifier here in the NR 2003 Big One. And one disclaimer as well, you will see the scrolling ticker on your screen. It does take a while to update. It updates every lap like the traditional ticker. However, it scrolls so slowly that we can get a couple of laps in before it fully scrolls. So what you are seeing right now might be a lap before. It might not be exactly accurate to the prior lap but it is there to give you a better idea of where you are on the race track without me having to change the main ticker the uie ticker that you see to the left luke rainey is now single file out front alexander rowe in the 11 moving his way to the inside eli bright as well it's a little interesting a lot of these guys who have a lot of nap fan experience starting to work their way on the inside lane i should stop referring to my own channel that's not the whole point here but hey i do know these drivers i know their stats on my channel and it gives me talking points for them so that helps make the broadcast a little bit more interesting and no offense to these other guys i just haven't had them on my channel before so i don't know their stats as well of course i'm assuming that jake alley would know a lot more about how well all these other drivers do in his league uh, but unfortunately, it's hard to keep up with every single league, and I don't know the stats of NRUK near as well as he does. But either way, it's still great to see all these guys here. Great to see some new faces on the channel. And uh, we're going to have ourselves a great race here to see the top five make it on to the NR2003 big one. How about the number 16, Ryan Busher? And Ryan Busher is a guy who actually has made an Indianapolis start himself. And I believe he may have been in the same Indianapolis 250 that Luke Rainey won. Either that, it might have been the year before. A long time ago, about four years ago, he was in that Indianapolis 250. Great to see him back on the channel, even if it's kind of an indirect way of him being back on. But he just got a huge run there and a huge shot from Keegan Thompson. And I know you love me, Keegan. So, great to see you back on the channel as well. Number 14 moving his way to the inside for the race lead now. We're starting to see a lot of shuffling. And here comes Ethan Matheson, number 19. He found his way back to the inside. Eli Bright, Alex Enro, Luke Rainey, William Bull, and all those guys who were running inside the top five not too long ago have shuffled out of line. And it's now a completely new face up front. Number 14 machine of Keegan Thompson. Here comes Mathis Wells. William Bullen shot back down to the inside, and he's going to make it four wide to the inside, and he's back inside the top five. And I think this might be the last guy we've really yet to touch on in this race. Bronson Minnick in the number 12. Great run there on the inside lane for the 12 machine. We've yet to see him run up front so far in this one, but here he is, lap 13 of 20. Four wide back in here as Zachary DeLello's moving his way back through the inside. And Mathen gets shuffled out again in the number 19. And you can see just how bad that fourth line is. And you get shuffled out of line right there, fall all the way back. It does not work. And Matheson all the way back in the last position right now. Lap 14 or 20 here in the NRUK Big One Qualifier. And William Bullen has gone to the race lead with now seven laps to go. Here comes DJ Reed, 0-9, Alex Fletcher on the inside lane. 
All these guys shuffling all over the place. Here comes the number 17 machine of Luke Rainey. Number 16, Ryan Butcher there as well. Number 19, Ethan Madsen back to the inside. Realistically, you can be in the last position and still finish inside the top five in one lap. It is very possible we could see that. So nobody is safe until the checkered flag flies. And then, 10 guys going to be sent home from the main event of the NR 2003 Big One. Definitely looking forward to see how it all goes down this Saturday. Hopefully it will be this Saturday. Nathan pulling the race off for us here from Pensacola. 40 drivers in the field. Of course, all the other leagues have their competitors in. It's the last five slots here for the NR 2003 Big One main event here in our UK. And a lot of solid guys. I think all these guys have a very good chance of making it on. And, uh... Once we get to the main event, I think all these guys are going to have a really good shot at winning that main event. Ethan Madison has definitely impressed me in this one so far. The way he's been shuffling around. Of course, he held the lead for quite some time early on. He's trying things all over the place. Still having a little bit of a struggle getting inside that top five, though. But we still have five laps to go next time by William Bowling Gets shuffled out of line in the 21 machine. He's going to fall back. As the race leader is now DJ Reed in the number 20. It's going to be two in a row there for DJ Reed. Luke Rainey, Ryan Butcher, Christian Elder, and the 09 right now of Alex Fletcher, the top five. Here comes Keegan Thompson. They're looking to take that last transfer position away. Five laps to go here at Pensacola in the NR 2003 Big One Qualifier. Top five of Amton in the main event this Saturday. Who is it going to be here around this three mile racetrack? Alexander Rowe now, huge shot there from Eli Bright to get to the inside of Keegan Thompson. And these guys are getting runs much faster than what they were earlier on. That number 11 has a great run out of the inside. And you got the number 10 machine of Christian Elder trying to work the outside lane here. But DJ Reed has led the past three laps. We'll have to see if he can hold them off to the end. Whereas all he needs to do is finish top five. That's all that matters. But a win would definitely bring in a lot of confidence heading into the main event if he can make his way through. He got Alexander Rowe right behind him, though. And there goes Alexander Rowe to the inside. We're going to have to see if he can make the pass because here comes Eli Bright with a full head of steam to the inside. He's going to take it away. We saw in one of the NOFSRL heats, I think it's actually the NOFSRL LCQ. And Matt Tuck, one of the drivers who unfortunately failed to make it, had a bold shot down to the inside in return number three. Wondering if we're going to see that at some point, but they finally dethroned DJ Reed, and now the cycle looks like it's going to begin again. Mathis Wells to the inside, number 13 of Dale Lightning. We haven't really seen much of Lightning in this race. Another guy we really haven't touched on. He's been kind of in the back of the field, a majority of this qualifier. But here he is, currently up to the second position. William Bullen here in the 21 machine. Looking to the inside of the 15, driven by Eli Bright. There goes the 13 of Dale Lightning to the inside. Coming to two laps to go. Bronson Middix up here. 0-8, Zachary DeLello as well. Who's going to advance on? We still have no clue who it's going to be. These guys are shuffling all over the place. William Bullen trying to shoot the middle. 0-7, Roman Fenway trying to shoot the middle there. Luke Rainey all the way down low. Dale Lightning leads with two to go in the NRUK qualifier. Top five advance on. Number 17, Luke Rainey to the inside of Zachary DeLello. Here comes Alex Fletcher in the 0-9. Ryan Butcher on the inside as well. All you need to do is be in the right place at the right time, and you'll have your position. There it goes, Butcher. He's going to move the 09 of Fletcher out of the way as Luke Rainey and Dale Lightning are pushing each other and pulling away from the rest of the field. Here we go, white flag at Pensacola in the NRUK qualifier for the 2020 NR2003 big one. Who's going to get the checker flag and who will advance on to the main event? Dale Lightning doing an impressive job of Luke Rainey doing an even better job being patient and staying right behind him. 
Ryan Butcher, Keegan Thompson, and the 0-9 of Alex Fletcher currently in the transfer positions. Here comes Christian Elder. Here comes Ryan Butcher with a run to the inside of Luke Rainey. And if Rainey gets shuffled out of line, that might not be enough for him to transfer on. But Dale Lightning, number 13. We didn't see him at all the entire race. It looks like he's going to get the race victory. Christian Elder looking to the inside of Keegan Thompson. This is going to be a tight one for the final transfer position. Dale Lightning wins the race. Keegan Thompson barely advances on. He will be the fifth and final qualifier in NRUK for the NR2003 Big One as he barely edges out Christian Elder at the line. It's Dale Lightning, Ryan Butcher, Luke Rainey, Alex Fletcher, and Keegan Thompson. The five guys advancing on for Team NRUK in the 2020 NR2003 Big One. How about Dale Lightning right there? He's got a tough run over on my channel. Great to see him advance on here for Team NRUK. Great to see all these guys. Luke Rainey, one of the best drivers in this field, made it on right there. And he's going to be a threat in the main event, no doubt about that. Ryan Butcher, 16 Machine, Alex Fletcher, and Keegan Thompson. How about that for Keegan? Right on Christian Elder. Tough break there for Elder in the 10 Machine. It's just the way it goes sometimes. It was all over the place here at Pensacola. In the end, it was Dale Lightning getting the race victory. And Dale Lightning, Ryan Butcher, Luke Rainey, Alex Fletcher, Keegan Thompson. They're going to be representing Team NRUK for the 2020 NR2003 Big One. You all know when it's going to be on Saturday on the NIRA channel. We're looking forward to see how it all goes down for that big event. And we're looking forward to see who gets the race victory overall. I mean, I'm representing, well, I'm not in the race myself. Actually, I am in the race. I don't know if I advanced on or not. I'm actually helping out with Elijah's group over there, and I'm driving for, for his team. But I, I'm in the NOFSRL, and we got our five guys. We're going to have to see what guys like Stuart Gratton, Josh King, Owen Miles do. Um, I'm trying to remember. Ethan Lewis got our LCQ. Um, I don't know who else is involved, but uh, who else advanced on, I should say. But uh, we're going to have a lot of guys from all different you know, corners of this NRC3 community come together in one big race, and it's going to be interesting to see who gets it done here at Pensacola. We're looking forward to it this Saturday on the NIRA channel. Huge thanks to Nathan for putting this whole thing on, and we'll look forward to seeing how it all goes down on Saturday. A uh, huge thanks to all those guys in the UK and uh, huge thanks to Jake Galloway and Nathan Stapleton for letting me do this. Of course, I hated that Jake couldn't do it, but I'm glad I can step in and at least give these guys... An opportunity to make it into the main event. And those top five will be in the main event. Dale Lightning, Ryan Butcher, Luke Rainey, Alex Fletcher, and Keegan Thompson. Thank you guys so much for watching. Congratulations to Dale Lightning and the five guys advancing on. And the Enter to the Big One is this weekend on the NIRA channel. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. And I will see you guys later.